heaven so satan does not mind giving you money you will get gold as dust what he's looking for that's why the bible says what shall it profit a man profit profit business now if he gains what the whole world and loses his soul you paid for the world with your soul like you pay for water with money the commodity of exchange is your soul when satan took jesus up the mountain they were not talking business material things bow to me just give me access to your soul and i will give you all of this that is still the strategy till today it's a battle of your soul my brothers and my sisters and it's a battle of time it's not a battle of affluence it's not a battle of pedigree and all of this a battle the real act enemy of satan is one who has both resources and a healthy soul because you pay the price with your soul i found this years ago and it changed my life that this is the mystery behind the decadence that continues to happen over people's spiritual lives you would notice that for many people maybe whilst on campus they still have some little time and then they give god everything and suddenly things begin to change by the time they get jobs they hardly have time for god and the moment the moment the devil knows that you are hearing him a sermon that will lift you he can make you promoted satan doesn't always demote he will do anything that will take your soul including relocating you to a wealthy place the idea has never been money it's like a meter in the spirit he looks at your life versus your time and your soul the moment he finds out your soul is prospering he would do something to your time battle of time it takes time to know god it takes time to lock yourself for a whole day to say lord reveal yourself to me i want to hear you the moment that happens here comes a pta letter everything is growing except your salary your needs are growing the troubles are growing and then you look at your pta letter and you hold it for a long time as if you are not seeing it and that pressure alone will make you to round up that prayer immediately you were browsing how to know god and you didn't know when you started browsing a fast way to pay child school fees enter even as your soul prospers the generation that will ignore this message is the generation that will pay for the, the price of their foolishness with their children i thank god for the person who is teaching you this because most times we think people teach finance because they do not have anointing they are trying to remedy for the frustration of not being spiritual so they choose an area that can explain away their lack of power It is very important to be balanced the area of imbalance becomes the edge of satan in a man's life satan cometh to me and does not find anything of himself lack of resources has been the greatest basis of distraction if i ask all of us to write our prayer request now and i have the opportunity to read it i mean some will say must i write it i can say it i need money i'm in trouble there's uh, the time to write i can say it this is my problem listen to me the name of jesus you've heard me say is extremely heavy it takes money to carry it the name of jesus is extremely heavy it will take resources to lift up that name even as your soul prospers so he becomes a ceo and while he becomes a ceo his soul continues to go down you are buying the cars you are buying the houses but your soul continues to go down your children will follow after the backsliding state of your soul and the bible says you did not profit in that business of destiny you lost 
because you gave away your soul for wealth now here's where the attack comes if you say satan my soul belongs to god and i will prosper he will isolate you as a case study and say let me see the technology by which you will step into this system and still rise financially and then your soul will still prosper no bow to me and i will give you the treasures or refuse to bow and i will manipulate your time and your life to a point that it will compel you to bow notice they saw the ease with which jesus was doing ministry and they sent the scribes and the pharisees and they didn't seem to understand him the next set of people they sent were the tribute collectors they sent finance people come and do something to his time embarrass him corrupt his message create a case financially against him so that his message will not be heard and they brought the issue of tax not salmon not you are a good man you are changing society we had the other day that you healed a madman congratulations as the government we are happy mm -mm. that was not their concern we hear that you are doing this thing easy because you are not paying tax you claim to come from god you claim to be obedient but you are violating this and jesus looked at them and said peter go to the fish i i want to show you something you will not have power over my time i know what you are looking for go go to the fish take his coin give to him let him go then he said give to god what belongs to god and while you are doing so caesar will come immediately so make sure you prepare caesar's own so that as soon as caesar comes you give to caesar too what belongs to caesar if you give to god what belongs to god caesar will come the moment you start giving god time get ready caesar will send the tax collectors he will send them as increased bills he will send them as multiplied school fees he would send them as the need to relocate he will send them as an angry landlord who does not know why he's angry and he said while you are serving god prepare caesar's own because caesar does not hear stories give him his coin He said the peacemakers are those who inherit the earth you make peace when you settle both god and caesar if you settle god alone you will not have peace you are not a peacemaker you must find a way of settling caesar is god speaking to us today god forbid but imagine that we're in this conference now and because of a need some financial need whether for personal or whatever reason we now after preaching powerfully like this the next thing i manipulate the prophetic grace upon my life and start seeing your account and say you stand up you have seven million five hundred thousand when i prophesy like that and you are shaking i will use the opportunity to extract caesar's own out of your account quickly It may not be that I'm a bad man. While I saw that account, I just remembered my child's school fees. I said, how much is there?